Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to set up your 1Password for Families account and how to migrate data from the 1Password for app for desk, Windows desktop. The first thing you're going to want to do is visit this URL. I've provided a link in the description below and you're going to want to sign up for 1Password for Families. When you click sign up, you're going to be asked to pick a family team name, which you can either make your family surname, for example, something like Smith, or you can choose a name which is a nickname or something like that that's familiar to your family. I will note that when you enter this name, it's going to become the beginning of the URL for your family account. So if you have a common name like Smith, you'll probably need to include some numbers or you might want to choose a name which is more unique. You'll then have to enter your email. When you've finished clicking the sign up button and entering your information, you'll receive an email that looks like this and then you'll just want to click the let's get started button to go on. I've obviously already created my account. I'm going to assume that you've done the same thing. One thing I'm going to draw your attention to is the account key that you're given. Uh, this is shown right here. You'll receive it when you initially sign up and it's important that you keep this stored in a secure place because you can't recover it. You will be warned of this, but I just wanted to emphasize that. Maybe write it down somewhere as well as store it somewhere in a secure location so you have it in a couple of places if you need to recover it. So we're going to log into the account. You have a master password just like you would with your normal 1Password desktop applications. This will be the dashboard that you'll see when you get into your 1Password for Families account. One thing I want to draw your attention to is this item on the right here which is kind of nice. It's a little thing called Quest to Conquer where they give you some ways to start out using your account. So some of these things I've already done. I've just created the account. There's no information stored in either of my vaults at this time. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install the 1Password beta app for Windows 10. This is a Windows Store app, so there's a couple of ways to access it. You can either open the Windows Store and you can search for it and it'll pop up as 1Password Beta. You can then click that and you can install it from this interface. The other option in your 1Password for Families dashboard is to click your name in the top right, to click Get the Apps, and then to click 1Password for Windows, which requires Windows 10 as it notes here. There are other apps that are available. Unfortunately, at this time, the 1Password for Desktop app does not work with 1Password for Families. So there's a little bit of a gap there. My understanding is that the developers are working on integrating 1Password for Families into this app. And when that's done, I think that will be the best solution for everybody. But for now, there's the Windows 10 app. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. All that's going to do is open the link in the Windows Store. You click install here. Once the item is installed, we can click open to open it. The first thing you're going to see when the app opens is this page asking you to either sign into your 1Password for Families account or to import data from your local 1Password vault. What we're going to do is we're going to click already have 1Password data somewhere else. In this situation, I'm assuming that you have 1Password installed as a desktop application already and you want to import your data from your existing 1Password vault. If we click this, it's going to ask us where our data is. If you've opted to keep your data on Dropbox, you can click that. If you've opted to keep your data in a local folder, you'll have to choose that selection. I have my data in my Dropbox, so I'm going to choose that. And as happens with many of these things, it's going to ask you to link the app to your Dropbox account. So we'll go ahead and click sign in. Then just allow the app to access your Dropbox account. Once you've done that, if you have multiple vaults in your Dropbox, it will give you an option to choose from those. I only have a single vault, so I'm going to choose that vault. And then it's going to ask for your master password for that vault. And you'll see now that we've entered our information, it's actually importing all of the information from my existing vault into the 1Password Windows 10 app. If I can draw your attention to this area on the bottom left here where it says join a team or add vaults, that's what you're going to want to click next. So you're going to want to say join a team. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a screen to log into your 1Password for Families account. You'll recall that when I went to the Get the Apps page on the 1Password web interface, there was a QR code. So that's a way you can log this information in. I'm going to do it manually by typing everything in. So once you have all your information entered, you will need your account key for this particular step. So that's why it's important that you've stored that. Click Sign In. It may look like nothing has changed when you click the Sign In button, but if you click this drop down here, you're going to see now that I have the local vault that I had opened er when we originally opened this program and we also have my personal and shared vaults which 
are the two vaults that are associated with my 1Password for Families account. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the entries from your current 1Password vault into your personal 1Password vault in 1Password for Families. In order to copy the entries, all we have to do is click this button here that says Select. And we're going to get checkboxes by each of our entries. Click Select All. And then we're going to click the Share button. When we click the Share button, it's going to give us the option of choosing either our personal or our shared vault. I'm going to choose my personal vault because these are my personal logins. So what you'll see here is that all the logins and entries are being copied over to your personal vault in your 1Password for Families account. So at this point, all of your logins have been copied to your personal vault in 1Password for Families. If we click on the personal vault, we'll see the logins that were just copied over. I'm going to close this video out just by talking about some of the limitations and the differences between 1Password beta for Windows 10 and the 1Password 4 app, which a lot of my other videos pertain to, which we just imported the data from. Uh, the 1Password beta app works with 1Password for families. So as we've seen, you can choose your different faults that you have in your 1Password for families account, and you can also open local vaults. One limitation it has is that it doesn't use auto filling or automatic login creation the same way that the desktop app does. So that is a definite limitation. Um, so right now there's that little bit of a gap that I talked about between the two. It would be nice if the desktop app supported 1Password for families, and I hope it will sometime in the near future. Um, at this time, you have a couple of different options. You can either use this app, which you can use to fill logins, but logins are just copied to the clipboard essentially, and then you have to paste them into your login fields manually. Or you can use this app just as a way to sync your logins from the desktop to your online vault. And what that will do is it will give you this online access to your logins while still maintaining all the functionality of the fully featured 1Password 4 desktop app. Um, I think that's probably the approach that I'm going to be taking, uh, but other people may find that they have different preferences or different needs in terms of what their primary purpose is in using 1Password. That's all there really is to migrating your data over to the online interface. I'll have some more videos coming showing the uh, dashboard and how to use 1Password for families. I'm just getting familiarized with it myself. I'm looking forward to the online interface and the apps uh, continuing to be developed. And I think that uh, it's a really great way to be able to access your data securely from any location. Um, I know that I have another video showing how to enable 1Password anywhere, and uh, this is probably a more secure and a more robust solution for accessing your data on the go. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to leave your comments and questions below.